so today is 4 20 um i'm just gonna introduce you guys to my daughter my second daughter not you my second daughter she's already trying to come in this video she already ruined it i don't know how many times that i've tried doing this but she chews with her mouth open and nobody wants to hear that so anyways this is amira mommy she just took like a little bath so she's out she smells like baby magic if anybody cares um but yeah so she's here i had her on the 7th um i had a c-section um what else oh i got my tubes tied so no more babies out of me this is from one of my ivs you guys can see my birthmark more without my foundation. Damn, it's hella big. I never noticed that. Anyways, Ivy. Let me put the Ivy right here as well. That little dot. Um, Christopher's right there, of course. Nobody, they, they're always right next to me. They don't leave me alone, but whatever. Um, she was 7 pounds, 8 ounces, and 21 inches long. Um, I had her here in Modesto at Kaiser. One thing I definitely could say was having my baby during this whole like quarantine pandemic or whatever, how like however you say that, was definitely like nerve wracking. Now I've stated this before. I was terrified, like terrified, of giving birth by myself. Obviously, I'm not, like, by myself by myself because there's doctors and surgeons and shit like that. But the fact is that they weren't letting my husband be in that room with me. That's what scared me the most. Um, but they let me, or they let him actually be in, the, like, the after, I forgot what it's called. It's, like, it's a room you go before you go into, like, mother and, I don't know. Anyways, he was there. That's why you're not supposed to wear shoes on the bed. Get. Um. But yeah, so that was really scary. And I was pretty drugged up. Like, I don't know how to describe the C-section. Because I guess I could try to describe it. Like, with my son, tomorrow he's going to be three. Um, I had an emergency C-section. So for that one, they just put my ass to sleep. I was heavily drugged, heavily drugged. So talk like talking about like Jesus and Twinkies. Like that's what my mom tells me all the time. Um, I don't know what those two have to do together, but I was Jesus and Twinkies and aliens. I don't know. Um, but I don't know how else to describe it, other than a lot of like tugging, scared shitless out of my mind. Uh uh, don't mess with that lotion. Um, I don't know, and then, like, the anesthesiologist, he's like, oh, yeah, for my husband, he was like, I'll pretend to be you, I'll be her boyfriend for the time being, blah, 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 I'm gonna comfort her, I'll hold her hand. That dude was messing around and flirting with whoever he was flirting with. He, I was by myself. <laughs> he wasn't talking to me, and I was freaking out. I felt... A lot of tugging, and then, like I said, they per or they tied my tubes. So, he stepped on my foot. I don't even like check on them if they're okay. Cause look it, she stopped crying. Um. I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, that experience was definitely like, good thing I don't ever have to worry about going through that again. Um, you break that laptop, daddy's gonna get you. Um, what else? Yeah, so I don't know. It just, I felt like I was on a roller coaster. Like, you know that part when you know you're going up and they drop fast and then up, down, and. Yeah, like, that's how I felt. It was kind of weird. 
Um, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, that was really weird. And then to top it all off, like, we were at the hospital for two days. Because, honestly, if we were just, you know, we were good to go. Like, the baby didn't need to stay or I didn't, like, I was, we were trying to get out of there. Just because, like, I was worrying about these other monsters, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And then it was kind of scary, too, because one of the the mornings, like, at 3 something in the morning, because you know how they bug the shit out of you and they always check on you and you have to take your pills and all that, right? Um... One of them, they were doing like a code gray or something like that. And that scared the shit out of me because, I mean, I know what code gray, code, code gray, blah, code gray is. And basically, it's just like somebody being very combative. Um, and for me, I don't know if it's just because I'm a CNA, I'm traumatized when it's coming to like combative patients. Like, I've got spit on, scratched, bit, groped, um, just a whole lot of nonsense, but... Mind you, I worked with a lot of, like, dementia patients, Alzheimer's, and, you know, just mentally ill. Um, so, yeah. That was fun. She's finally asleep. Oh, and I gave her a little bit of formula, but she's strictly, I can't say strictly anymore, but, like, when I'm going in the shower, because obviously my husband yeah. can't feed her, we give her, like, formula, only, like, a half an ounce, um... But for the most part, she's a booby baby. Um, yeah. She's, like, out, though. I gave her a nice little sponge bath because she still has her umbilical cord on. But, I don't know. Does she look like me? <laughs> I think she has my nose. But, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. This is Amira. You guys are going to see her often. Watch her grow. Um, again, I have no me time, no sleep, no anything. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, what's my Instagram? Oh, it's angel.baby underscore 94, I believe. I think so. And my snap is pretty underscore ange 15. Yeah. Bye, guys.